Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have really interesting video. I'm really hyped up about this one. We are going to test how many threads do you need for like bolt and nut to be like as strong as they get. And I have manufactured some special nuts. They are uh, cut from the regular nut with the bandsaw. And these are from the middle of the nut. So if there is like a, this stuff going on that the thread isn't completely like uh, on its like full size on like start of the nut. I have left that out. These are from the middle of the nut. So they are full threads. And I have one thread, two threads, three and four here. And I haven't looked this up, how strong they should be or done any calculations. I think it's much more interesting just to find out by testing. And the full nut that has, actually how many threads is in one nut? I have to, I have to check that out. Okay, so the nut in total is 28 millimeters. And since one thread on this M36, the pitch is four millimeters. So that's 28 divided by four. So there is a seven complete threads on that one. And, uh, I assume that this is going to be about as strong. The full nut is 67 tons. It's pretty strong. I'm going to say that this is at least 50, but this is definitely much less. But how much? Only one way to find out. And let's start from this. Okay, we are ready for the first one. And the setup is the same as usual. We are going to crush the bolt and nut. And then there is a force sensor under the thing. And the display shows the force that we are using. And prediction times, I'm going to say that this is, this is not very strong. It's only five tons. Oh, -ho! okay. That was yeah, I didn't reset this, but it was around 10 tons. You can see it here on the replay. And what happened to the, what happened to the thing? Uh, yeah, it was clearly the nut that broke. I think it like flexed like a cup. If the nut would have been like stronger part, let's say like larger piece of steel, I think it would be even stronger because now it like the whole structure of the like frame of the nut bent like that in cup form. But uh, we are testing today not, so let's, let's take this as a good result. And then two threads. And this video is sponsored by Teach Handley or Tieke Handle as we say it here in the Hydraulic Press channel. It's a skincare system for guys like you and me. And my uh, old skincare system was the, my wife saying, oh my God, your face is so dry. So, and then she put some lotion on it and then it burns like napalm because it's already like way too dry. But with teach handle, it's really easy to keep good skincare routine. You get uh, every month this box and inside of the box are instructions. And they say what to put on what time of the day and how much and where. <laughs> and then you get all that you need for your daily routine. So you get some waste wash to get like oil and sand and stuff out from your face. Then you get a face scrub twice a week to get rid of like dead skin and other stuff that is more attached to your face. Then you get a PM, like moisturizer thing. This is the thing that keeps your face not going super dry. And then you get a similar thing for the mornings. And one thing that I like very much with these is the fact that the morning thing, it has a sun protection because I burn really easily. And if I apply this every morning, I have good base protection for the start of the day. So maybe I'm not going to burn as often with these. 
And you don't have to trust only my word on these. They have 5,000 five-star reviews on their website, so people really like the product. And in addition of great basic skincare, members got other benefits also. You can customize your box, you can add other stuff there, like super serum for your eyes. Then you get 20% off from retail price, exclusive monthly deals, and you can pause or cancel your order anytime you like. There is free shipping to US and low cost shipping to most of the other countries. And because they are sponsor of this video, there is a great offer. If you link the link down in description, you get 30% off from the first box and free gift. So don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click the link and check them out. And now more crushing. Okay, and then the next one. And uh, I think it's going to be like, uh, if that was around 10 tons, this is around 17. That's my quest. Doubling the amount of threads, that's not probably going to make it double as strong, but let's see. Yeah, now it didn't make the cup form so much. It's straight pretty level. Yeah, but otherwise it seems pretty, pretty much the same. Let's have a look here. Yeah, didn't cup so much, but otherwise pretty much the same. Let's go straight to the tree threads next. Okay, 38. Yeah, I thought that the first one is going to be like strongest and next ones are not adding so much. But maybe if it's something to do with the fact that we are testing nuts. But <coughs> I think this is going to be at least 40 tons. How much was it? 46. And there was 4. So how that compares to the full nut? So 40, if we do like quick math, 46 divided by 4 times 7, 80. So now adding the rest, so now adding the uh, missing 3, those are not so important anymore as the first 4. Yeah, but I think we are going to see bigger differences if we take bolt and remove some threads there. So I'm going to make a bolt with, let's say, three complete threads. And then let's throw nuts there and see how it compares. Because I feel that the nuts have deformed quite much. And that makes the threads much like weaker. So with full nut, we are testing more the threads themselves and not so much the nuts. Or that's my theory at least. Okay, so now with the full nuts and partial bolts, first one, one thread. And with the uh, thin nut, this was around 10 tons. And I think this is going to be at least 15. And here we go. <laughs> it was bigger. Like, and a much weaker. Nothing makes any sense anymore, doesn't it? Uh, how about three? I couldn't make like all the sizes because I'm running out from these bolts. But now there is three full threads there. with a bang, 26 tons. That's really interesting. I think I'm going to pop this open and then give some final thoughts. Okay, so here are the results. 
The threads from the bolt are stripped off, they are here. And the no oh, you, whoop, that's hot. Pfft. Note to yourself, uh, cutting with the grinder makes parts hot. Yeah, but uh, one possible answer by <laughs> like stripping the threads from bolt was even worse, was the fact that the, like, the diameter of these threads here that we now stripped off, it's smaller than the diameter on the threads that are located on the nut. So there is a bit less material, but I'm not sure if the difference is so large. Of course, we have pretty small sample size here. If you could like make like 10 of everything, it would maybe make more sense. But that would be like too serious for this channel. <laughs> General trend is that it's pretty linear up to like four or five and then it stops mattering. Maybe with pulling that would be a different thing. And I think I'm going to test that in future. I'm going to make some kind of setup that allows me to pull bolts and nuts apart. So subscribe to the channel to see that. And big thanks to Teach Hanley for sponsoring today's video. Go check them out. The link is down in the description with my offer. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.